I'm going to talk to you now all about solid bag fishing. So why I like to use solid bags, where I think they're good in what situations and how to tie a solid bag up, what rig goes in it. So I'll start right at the beginning. So what rig do I tie for a solid bag? I like to use just a basic supple braid, four inch knotless knot and all my baits are usually the same. I either have a single piece of plastic corn or like a 10 mil Sonu baits wafter in there. And as you can see by this one, I make sure the bait's right in the corner. So when I pick it up, I know what I'm fishing with without having to guess. So all this compacts down into a size five solid PVA bag. And the way that I tie this is I use the neck of the cones, goes inside the solid PVA bag. And then what I do first is I put my bait in first, which some people like to put a little bit of pellet or ground bait in first, just to soften the bottom. Whereas I like the bait in first so I can see where it is. I then put a little bit of pellet in, put the lead in and then top the rest up. So I actually have a little cup that's got a mark on it. So I know exactly how much pellet goes in each bag. This does a couple of things. It lets me know that I'm not going to overfill it. They also, they all weigh the same. So when I'm casting quite regularly, I know that each one weighs the same and if I give it the same amount of power, it'll go the same distance each time. Then what I like to do is I spin the top round and tie it off with PVA tape. I prefer PVA tape to licking, I just think it's got a stronger hold and when you're casting quite far distances, I've never had one slip and it makes it look a lot neater as well in my opinion. So these are all tied on a length of unleaded leader so if fisheries don't allow leaders, then I do have some bag stems, which I use as well. But that's the main components and that's how I tie my solid bags. So I use solid bags in quite a lot of my fishing. Um, I like it because I think you get quite a fast bite and it's just a nice presentation. Obviously in weed, sometimes I prefer to use different methods. So I like the bottom to be either gravelly or sandy or quite clear. Low lying weeds, not too bad but anywhere where you can present them. So what I like is that you chuck it out and obviously it sits on the bottom and then when the bag actually, the PVA melts, it leaves a nice little parcel of bait with your hook bait just dangling out of the corner. And I think nine times out of 10, the fish come in and they're just interested in that pile of micro pellets rather than the actual hook bait itself. That's why I like to use them. You can put them out singly if you see a showing fish, chuck to it and you know that it's presented. You can put them out over bait. So if you've got a nice big pile of bait out there and then just one pile of pellets in the middle and it's really good at catching them fish swimming by. You can also fill them with oils and different flavours. So at the minute behind us, we've got a little bit of a ripple on the water. And I know if I fill my bag with a bit of oil, when I cast out, you'll see the oil hit the surface and it'll leave a little flat spot. And that just shows me exactly where my bait is, that it's gone down to the bottom. And if I'm spotting over the top, you can see exactly where you've been spotting and if your bait's in the right area. Along with that, you can fill it with anything. So like I say, oils sometimes, but then there's other, like there's a boosters, fill it with boosters and it just gives it that extra bit of added attraction for then fish swimming by to drop down and hopefully it puts more fish in the net. Mm -hmm. 